there are all kinds of problems that people are facing. So I'm constantly thinking about how to solve problems. A lot of my inspiration comes from just seeing what's going on in the world. My name is Mihir Garamella. I'm 15 years old and I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I like to create autonomous flying robots for search and rescue and emergency response. When I was little, I had this robotic dog, and I didn't have a pet, so that was my pet then. But I used to play with that all the time. And I was really inspired to see how this really simple combination of hardware and software and this $20 toy could really bring something to life for me. That inspired me to keep looking at creating things, building things, and specifically working on robots. My work focuses on adding sensing and, and adding some intelligent biologically inspired algorithms to flying robots to make them be able to find things and be able to navigate autonomously infrared sensors, for example, to find humans or to find sources of fire. I mean, I'm also looking at using some cell phone sensors to basically find anything in any sort of environment. The biggest problem with flying robots by far is trying to manage weight. Flying robots can carry next to nothing. And so when you haven't gotten it to take off for several months, it's extremely frustrating. But the fact that I'm working on something that I'm passionate about and that can really make an impact is what motivates me to keep persevering and keep going forward. The Carnegie Science Center is probably one of my favorite places in Pittsburgh. It really shows robotics coming to life. And it's a really good distraction from all of the stress of, of trying to design something and to get it working. Another place that has really helped me progress is my school. I'm really lucky to, to go to a school with a 3D printer. I do a lot of work there trying to design uh, these sort of low-cost, lightweight components for these robots. So with this project, I'd like to get a drone or get a swarm of drones into the hands of every first responder in the world. Technology is really this living, breathing thing. It keeps improving, and innovation really are, I think, what's going to drive the world forward. My biggest inspiration, my biggest motivation, is really trying to apply my work to help save someone.